Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you parametric modeling techniques. And to demonstrate this I will be making a hose adapter. So first we'll create a new body and a sketch on the XY plane. And for a hose adapter it'll be much easier to make just a single wall and then revolve that around so that it makes the entire thing but of course uh, if you were making an enclosure you wouldn't have to do that and you could just sketch it out normally um, this is just much easier for something like uh, something that is a cylindrical uh, model okay, so right now we're just making all those um, straight and we can use this revolving tool and there you go Okay, now we're going to just edit our sketch a bit because uh, these are not the same size or same length. I think we're going to do that for the for the those walls as well and these walls. Okay. In order to change the size of the holes, we will be using this um, distance constraint. This inlet is between those two points, and the outlet is between this point and this point. Uh, I suppose we can also try changing the thickness of the adapter. So let's do that. Uh, I don't know if I, I think I already did, right? Or I'm not too sure. Okay, whatever. Oh, we're done. Okay, yeah, we must have done it already. Um, let's add another distance constraint here. And there we go. Okay. Now, to make this parametric, I'm going to be adding a spreadsheet. Um, let's make a new spreadsheet and add the variables for what we want to change. So I want to be able to change the inlet uh, radius. Oh, I guess we shorten that a bit. Outlet radius and the thickness of the adapter. Before we can start adding values, I'm going to use a macro, which is, um, which is called a Easy Alias. What this will be able to do is reference the values to the variable name. Um, if you don't have this add-on, you can go to macros, go to add-ons, and install it there. I'm sure there's a source out there um, covering that. Okay, uh, let's make a 3 centimeter hole on the 2 centimeter outlet. Thickness can be 5 millimeters. Um, go back to our sketch, um, and uh, you have to modify these. So we click this button and uh, reference our s spreadsheet and the uh, uh, variable name. So this is our inlet. Okay, do the same thing. Spreadsheet outlet. Finally, the thickness of the wall. Spreadsheet thickness, and we're done. And yep, okay. So as you can see, the model has changed, and this is uh, this makes it easy to just modify the variables. You know, to change this to fifty, let's say, have a drastic difference on the model, as you can see. And this will this will ease up on you know if you have to make multiples of these but slightly different variable uh, values. So yeah, uh, okay. That's all I have for you guys today. Maybe some of you have found this helpful, and uh, thank you for watching.